Mark Galwall. Glenn Whitley. Here. Kelly Judd. Roy Charles Briggs, Commissioner of Precinct 1. Present. Andy H. Wynn, Commissioner of Precinct 2. Here. Gary Fickus, Commissioner of Precinct 3. Here. J.D. Johnson, Commissioner of Precinct 4. Constitutes a quorum. Thank you. Our invitation today will be delivered by Preacher Robert Dotson from the Northwest Church of Christ at Lake Worth. Thank you very much for coming out today. Uh, after the invocation, please remain standing for our pledges. Dear God, I know that you're sovereign over all things, and I want to lift up your matchless name before us all today. Thanking you, Father, for the men and women who govern us, for all of those who have dedicated their life to serve us. I want to thank you, Father, for this commissioner's court, for Judge Whitley, for all of these commissioners, for everyone involved. We thank you, Father, for their service and dedication. We pray, God, that you would, would bless them with strength because we know that there are difficult uh, problems and uh, decisions that must be made. Give them your wisdom and your courage, Father. And God bless them in their efforts. We pray that we might have peace and that there might be law and order among us. We thank you, Father, for the help that they've brought to us, the roads and the, the schools and the, the hospitals and the, the things that they have to deal with each day. God, help them that we might always have that which is good and right for everyone. Father, our hearts today go out to the family of Justice Scalia. Father, we, we pray your blessings upon them. We thank you for his dedication and service to our country for so many years, for the inspiration and encouragement he brings to each of us. We thank you, Father, for, for all of those who have served us so diligently through the years. God, help us to work together in peace and in harmony and to love and to serve one another. Lord, we know that uh, though our world is evil, that uh, you did not make it that way, and that you created everything very good. And Father, it was not until we uh, transgressed your laws that misery and corruption and heartache and suffering and death have come into our world. And God, we also know that though we've contributed everyone to this, that you love us so much that you would send your son to pay the penalty for our sins so we wouldn't have to pay it, that you could forgive us, that you raised him that we might have eternal life. And, Father, it's in that hope that we uh, look to you and trust in you today. And, Father, we pray you will give us all faith and courage for every day ahead. Uh, Lord, that you would help us as we help one another towards heaven. Father, that you would ever keep us in your love and your grace. We love you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Thank you again for coming out today, Patrick. <coughs> agenda announcements, Mr. Manius. Thank you, Your Honor. Members of the Court, we have three agenda announcements and then one other general announcement. Um, if we could start under the County Administrator section, item 8A10. This is bid number 2015 CD-025. There's a revised court communication in your folder this morning as it relates to that particular item. We just added, we did, what we did, we added uh, some language that the county auditor had requested that we put in the communication. And, um, and so uh, we'll ask you to approve that on the consent agenda. Also, members of the court, <coughs> under the criminal district attorney's office, item 8F1, we're going to ask that uh, we remove that item from the agenda at this time. The members of the court on, on item 9, which is the approval of bonds and certificates of self-insurance. We do have a bond we're going to ask you to, to approve uh, when we get to that particular point in the agenda. 
Also, members of the court, I want to remind you that we do not have a court meeting next Tuesday. And Your Honor, we do not have anything on close today, so there's not a need to go into closed session. Okay. Thank you, Your Honor. Okay, ma'am. Members of the court, you have before you the minutes of our regular meeting of February the 9th. My full approval of the minutes. Second. We have a motion and a second. Please vote. Uh, motion passes unanimously. Would you, Commissioner Fickers, would you move uh, Commissioner Johnson's back? Thank you. We have uh, two resolutions today. The first is for National Engineers Week. And I believe we have uh, Mike Tamani and Greg Saunders. If y'all would come forward, I'll read this into the record. Whereas engineers use their specific, their scientific skills and specialized knowledge in creative and innovative ways to fulfill society's needs, and whereas engineers help solve major technological challenges of our time, from designing efficient building systems to rebuilding towns devastated by natural disasters, and whereas engineering has been called the invisible or stealth profession because everything around us and things we use every day have been engineered in some way, yet we may not see the engineers behind the scenes or know much about engineering. And whereas founded in 1951, National Engineers Week is dedicated to, enduring, to ensuring a diverse, a diverse and well-educated future engineering workforce by increasing understanding of and interest in engineering and technology careers. And whereas E-Week is a formal coalition of more than 70 engineering, education, and cultural societies with more than 50 corporations and government agencies dedicated to raising public awareness of engineers' positive contributions to our quality of life. And whereas E-Week promotes recognition among parents, teachers, and students of the importance of technical education and the high level of math, science, and technology literacy and encourages you to pursue engineering careers in order to provide a diverse and vigorous engineering workforce. Now, therefore, be it resolved that we, the Commissioner's Court of Tarrant County, do hereby recognize February 21st through 27th 2016 is National Engineers Week in Tarrant County. In witness whereof we have here to set our hands and cause the seal of Tarrant County to be affixed this 16th day of February. I move its approval. Second. Please vote. Motion passes unanimously. <coughs> Appreciate y'all coming down today. I started out trying to be a mechanical engineer, and then I came across calculus <laughs> and physics, <laughs> and I became a business engineer. You became an accountant. Thank y'all. <laughs> an accountant. So, what? Please say the words. Excuse me. Got the picture. Thank you very much. On behalf of the American Society of Union Refrigeration Air Conditioning Engineers, I would like to thank the Tarrant County Community Commissioners for making this happen and all their time and effort in supporting the engineers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Judge, we also uh, lost an icon, I guess, in Texas engineering uh, this past week, the yes. passing of, of Jim Nichols. With freeze and nickels from Jim uh, that there was a quote in the article that Jim could get in a plane in El Paso and fly to Texarkana and never lose sight of a lake or dam that they designed that's something else isn't it oh, that is. so, so I mean, he, he did a tremendous uh, was, he had a tremendous career and did yeah. a great service to our, so, to our folks and we lost another significant engineer this week uh, Gordon Swift. Oh, I didn't realize Gordon had passed away. Yes. 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 Mm. The next resolution that we have is a resolution for the Center for Transforming Lives. Um, and I know that Carol 
uh, Klochik, Klochik. Klochik, the CEO, Trish Rodriguez, and Audrey Kuhn are here. And I probably mispronounced all your names, but come on forward. I know you're out there. Whereas for more than 100 years, the Center for Transforming Lives has empowered women and children in need in our community. And whereas founded in 1907 as the first YWCA in Texas, the organization changed its name in 2015 to more clearly articulate its local mission for breaking the cycle of poverty for women and families. And whereas the Center for Transforming Lives provides safe and stable housing free from violence for women and families in our community and helps them to earn with dignity and save for a better tomorrow. And whereas the Center for Transforming Lives engages children in a literacy-rich environment and, per and prepares them for success in school while enabling their parents to improve their family's e economic well-being. And whereas the Center for Transforming Lives educates women and families about healthy financial management and provides them with tools to grow their income. And whereas in Tarrant County, where more than 94,000 women and 126,000 children live in poverty, the Center for Transforming Lives envisions a future of serving 10,000 of the most vulnerable women, children, and families with the goal of breaking the cycle of poverty through its two-generation model. Now, therefore, be it resolved that we, the Commissioner's Court of Tarrant County, do hereby commend the Center for Transforming Lives for effectively and compassionately moving Tarrant County women, children, and families out of poverty and into self-sufficiency. And further, we encourage residents to recognize that it takes a community-wide effort to transform lives from poverty to independence and that when families prosper, our entire community prospers. In witness whereof, we have herein to set our hands and cause the seal of Tarrant County to be affixed the 16th day of February, 2016. I move its approval. Second. Second. Please vote. Motion passes unanimously. <coughs> to be here today and to be so recognized. Um, we have um, been working um, in Tarrant County for uh, more than 100 years with women and children and their families. And uh, because of the growing need and the vulnerability of women and children who are living in extreme poverty and homelessness in our community, our work will continue and evolve. Um, we help women and their children live in safety through our housing services. Women are able to earn with dignity because they have access to high quality, affordable child care. And they save for a better tomorrow through our financial education programs that work one on one to help a woman reach her goals for her, her children, her family's future. So thank you so much for this recognition and for allowing us to be with you today. You know, I know, Carol, that y'all struggled making the change with the name, but I really applaud you for doing that because I think the YWCA has done fantastic work, but I think it continuously was confused with, well, this is just a counter to the YMCA and we must go there to exercise and we must do all this. And, and you do so, so much more for our community. And I really believe that this name change, well, again, I'm sure it was a little bit of a bump in the road, uh, is something which I think certainly better describes the tremendous work y'all do uh, here in Fort Worth and in Tarrant County, and we want to thank you very, very much again.
coming down here today and, and letting us recognize that. Thank you. Board members, we also lost one of our family uh, this week with the passing of Alan Dennis, and I would ask that we close the court today in, uh, in memory of Alan and all the years of public service. Uh, we were talking a little bit earlier. He actually began as a jailer. He came up through the ranks, uh, so we're, we're certainly going to miss him, and um, we'll close the court today in, in, uh, in memory of him. And all of him. Um, court members, you have before you the consent agenda, as modified and revised. Move approval of the consent agenda as modified and revised. Second. A motion is second. Please vote. Motion passes unanimously. Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Your Honor. We have two items to bring to the court this morning. Uh, the first one, I'm going to ask Mr. Donald, Donald Lee to come forward. As each and every one of you know, Mr. Lee is the Executive Director of the Council of Urban Counties, and uh, I think that he brought something for us. Thank you, Mr. Manius. Judge, Commissioners, my name is Donald Lee. I am your Executive Director at your Texas Conference of Urban Counties. And I appreciate it very much, the opportunity to come, uh, come speak with you this morning and to, and to bring something to you. On behalf of all, everyone who works at the association, it's an honor and a privilege to do so and to work for you and to work every day to be part of trying to make your collaborative efforts with other counties uh, pay off in the way of better government and less expensive <coughs> government through collaboration. That's what we're all about. And it really, the magic of, there is a magic of what we're doing, but what really makes it all works is your commitment and your employees and your staff's commitment to collaboration, to working with others. Uh, and so much of what we do is dependent, everything what we do is dependent upon folks that, uh, that come participate in the association. You, beginning with y'all, y'all have always participated and provided leadership to the association, and I want to express our appreciation on behalf of all the other counties. I want to express appreciation to you uh, for that. In some of the things we're going to talk about today, staff here at, your staff here at the association, from Mr. Manius uh, to throughout, even independent elected officials' offices have contributed so much, I can't even begin to name, uh, name them all, and, and I think that needs to be recognized, and we need to express our appreciation for that as well. I will call out, uh, if I may, uh, the, the work and tell you how appreciative we are of you sending Mark Mendez down to Austin uh, to work with us on our efforts before the legislature. Certainly very little of what counties are able to accomplish could be accomplished without that sort of uh, participation and Mark is a leader uh, within our group and participates so diligently and we appreciate that in the, in the incredible way that he handles uh, his delegation and handles uh, the process. So I want to, again, start off by providing that thanks to you and that gratitude to you for everything that y'all do, have done, including that. So I brought to you today uh, your share of Potter County's buy-in into the TechShare Prosecutor and TechShare Courts software products. If I can manage these checks at all. Uh, we're talking about a total of $179,000, and that's not an insignificant amount of money, but I want to talk to you a little bit more about the bigger number. It's the check that's not been written, the check you haven't had to write. We, we believe that everything we do at the association should only be done if, through collaboration, you can do it less expensively, if you're not saving money. So we try to calculate that and track that, and it's an art, not a science. It's up for discussion and debate all the time. We welcome that discussion. Uh, I asked Charles Gray to, to do an estimate and go through and look at how much money his Tarrant County saved by participating and collaborating with other counties and participating in the tech share program. Now, he thinks it's about $20 million. You would have you gone on your own and procured the software that you've got now that you've done through TechShare, you just spent 20 more million dollars. That's not starting to calculate operational savings. That's not calculating maintenance savings uh, from maintaining it collaboratively. Uh, you know, I, Judge Whitley, Whitley likes to say I'm cheap. I like to consider myself maybe a little just conservative. 
Uh, and conservatively, when I look at those calculations, like I said, it's an art, not a science. I'd probably put the number more to about $15 million. Uh, fifth, but that's still a lot of savings for your taxpayers. That's a lot of good that you all can do. And your savings will continue to increase in time with, um, uh, with the maintenance and operations savings. But let me talk to you about something else, aspect of this, the part about better government. And, and I don't know if y'all have had this discussion or anyone's talked to you about this before. <clears throat> you have accomplished in your juvenile system true integrated justice information across counties in Texas. 250 of 254 counties now are sharing data on the children, and children's data about them follows the child. And there are at least two instances that I know of where a child caught up in the juvenile justice system was discovered to be a victim of trafficking and was actually put back into their family's hands and not in the hands of someone who shouldn't have had it only because you accomplished that. Now, how hard, you know, that's just easy, right? No, it's not. When I started working in county government 32 years ago, some of the first meetings I went to were on trying to integrate justice data. And in the adult side, we're still struggling to get to the level that y'all have accomplished in the juvenile side. You really cannot underestimate the, um, the benefit to lives and to the quality of juvenile justice that you are driving through the commitment to collaboration you made to working with others. So for that, I want to present to you these, these checks. I actually brought some that fit into an ATM better uh, than these do. <laughs> and I'm told that the place to do this is I should come, yeah, come on up here and we'll get a picture. We'll accept the checks, but I also want to thank Sharon, I want to thank Tom. Uh, in fact, if y'all would like to come up here and join us, because it is a collective effort. It's not just the commissioner's court. We, you know, we approve it, uh, but Tom and Sharon, come on up here. We'll let you stand on this side, and we'll let Tom stand on this side. You can, you can be on the right, and Tom will be on the left. No. Yes, ma'am. You got these right side up? Let me get over closer to Don, the way from Tom. Here. <laughs> Is Mary Louise around? Anymore? No, she's not here. She's not. Does it help if you put those wings out like that? Does that help? Yes. Stabilization. <laughs> In my age, it's stable. <laughs> <laughs> Where are your outriggers? <laughs> uh, and also, I mean, we, we talked about Mary Louise, we talked about Sharon and Tom uh, and the job they do, but it's also all of the judges in the courts. We've got uh, this prosecutor program is something that is, uh, let you do those to GK, the fifth ones too, if you wouldn't mind. <laughs> But it really is a, a collaborative effort, and it's something that we're very excited about, and I think it's something that will help not just the county, but also some of our municipalities, the, the police departments, um, and it should go a long way toward <coughs> speeding up the ability to get someone from uh, the arrest through the indictment, through the whole process, uh, which ultimately ends up saving us some big dollars. So, Don, thank you for uh, bringing those today, and thank you for your efforts in being the vision that moved us forward, not only in this area, in tech share, but Don has also helped us tremendously in areas we, we do our electricity. Our uh, P3 is our uh, aggregation for electricity, and uh, we've had several successful uh, ventures as a result of the work that we do in that. So with that, I will move that we receive and file the presentation by Conference of Urban Counties. Second. You we, look like you're just dying to say something. Um, I would, would ask that you not receive and file, but you actually make a, uh, make a motion to formally accept. Well, we'll do, okay, I'll accept those checks. <laughs> For the county. The, the second accepts the modification. For the county. For the county. Please vote. Motion passes unanimously. Thanks again, Don. Members of the court, we could move to item number two. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Before we move to item number two, since I forgot back under the announcements, 
Commissioner Fickus. Yes, we are having our 7th Annual Transportation Summit this coming Friday, and I'd like to invite anyone who is interested to contact our office. We've got uh, our keynote speaker is a uh, renowned economist, uh, Ray Perryman. We also have Victor Vandergriff, who is going to be taking it, who is a Highway Commissioner Michael Morris, who is the head of our of the uh, Regional Transportation Council Transportation <coughs> Department at the COG, and uh, we're going to have a discussions on the Panama Canal and projects that are going on and the the uh, uh, the, the future of transportation in North uh, Tarrant County. Um, so we invite all of you to come. We look like we're going to have a great turnout, and that's Friday from 8.30 till 1.30 at the Hearst Conference Center. And again, call our office for further details, and that's 817-581-3600. Thank you. And I'd also like to recognize the better half of the Wynn family out here today. Uh, uh -huh. Julie, I, please, please stand. And she can't take the We all married above ourselves. The judge did that. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mays, would you like to continue? Yes, Thank you, Your Honor. Members of the court, a week ago to item number two, we're requesting that the court approve the text share 2016 resource sharing addendum. Uh, this is for text share court. Uh, this addendum is between Dallas, Tarrant, Potter, and the Texas Conference of Urban Counties. Also request that uh, the commissioner's court approve an and request that uh, that this payment be made prior to it first appearing on the claims register. So moved. Second. We have a motion to second. Any discussion? Please vote. Motion passes unanimously. Thank you, Your Honor. Ms. Tibble. Good morning. Good morning. We have one item that we're asking the court to consider this morning, and that's the release of the $24,377,000 of collateral as outlined in your court communique. Move for approval. Second. We have a motion to second. Any discussion? Please vote. Motion passes unanimously. Ms. Snyder. recommending the payment of a claim to Eric Glossop in the Fort Worth Credit Union amount of $8,540.03 plus additional expense of rental fee. Move. Move for approval. Second. We have a motion to second. Any discussion? Please vote. Motion passes unanimously. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mr. Wilder. Thank you, Judge and Commissioners. Uh, the request we bring to you today is to allow us to purge from the books uh, amounts that are uncollectible by operation of law in our tax lawsuits. Um, first, let me introduce Leah Sparkman today, who has done yeoman's work on this from uh, my accounting department. Of course, the auditor and the district attorney have fully participated in this operation. Uh, we started about five years ago on this. Uh, it encompasses about 26,000, over 26,000 cases, uh, cases that go all the way back to 1986, which is the last electronically searchable year we can do on court cases. Um, as you may recall, we took up, uh, brought here to you an amount of some $4.2 million some years ago that we were able to give the court about half of that and refund the other. This, regrettably, is amounts that is struck off, uh, strike offs by cities, taxing entities of other uh, types, including the county. Uh, it is also uh, dismissed for want of prosecution by the judges and certain other peripheral fees that go with that court decision. So after full consultation, with the district attorney's office, a written opinion and collaboration and justification to the auditor, we ask you today to release uh, from the books and let us run this uh, uh, number off of the books uh, in the amount 
before you. This will not be the last time we come before you. We are, we have large amounts in the attorney general section, uh, child support cases and whatnot that are uncollectible also. And we will ask uh, for, we have asked for a legal opinion on those. And of course, uh, probably unless you all decide otherwise, we will be coming yearly with this particular type of case we are caught up through the end of 2015, calendar 2015. So about this time in 2017, we'll come back to you unless you all decide to let us go without that occurring. So I ask for your approval of this matter today. Move for approval. Second. I have a motion. Second, any discussion? Please vote. Motion passes unanimously. Thank you. Ms. Clem. Good morning. Good morning. We have four items for the court today. The first item, we're asking the court to receive and follow the personnel agenda. So moved. Second. A motion to second. Receive and follow the personnel agenda. Any discussion? Please vote. The motion passes unanimously. Our second item, we're asking the court to approve a waiver of terminal benefits for the ME's office. As outlined in your court communique, Dr. Pier 1 is requesting a waiver of 400 vacation hours for a senior criminalist effective March 1st, there's a net cost to the general fund of approximately $2,600, including fringe benefits. Move approval. Second. We have a motion to second. Any discussion? Please vote. Motion passes unanimously. Item number three, we're asking the court to approve an out-of-class pay extension for information technology. Mr. I-4 is requesting this extension through the end of May. Again, the details are in your communique. We will uh, add that the cost to the general fund will be approximately $3,100. However, that amount will be offset by salary savings. Move for approval. Second. We have a motion to second. Any discussion? Please vote. Motion passes unanimously. And finally, our fourth item, we're asking the court to approve an out-of-class uh, pay extension for community development. Uh, this one uh, should be familiar. This is the um, out-of-class pay for the employee who's performing the duties of the assistant director. Ms. Ward is requesting the extension or an extension through the end of March. Uh, these are grant fund, not general fund dollars. We're estimating the cost to be approximately $1,000. Uh, however, this cost will be offset by salary savings. Move for approval. Second. We have a motion to second. Any discussion? Please vote. Motion passes unanimously. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Purchasing. <clears throat> Good morning. Good morning, Good morning Jack. No, he's, uh, he's in the building somewhere. Uh, Good. So I've heard. Good. I haven't seen him yet, but he's around. He's lurking around somewhere. Uh, we have two items for your consideration this morning. Uh, the first is RP number 2016-043. This is our annual contract for employee drug and alcohol testing. This is a countywide contract. We're requesting that the award be granted to the primary and secondary vendors shown on your communique. So moved. Second. A motion is second. Any discussion? Please vote. Motion passes unanimously. Our second item is bid number 2016-060. This is our annual contract for carpet tile and miscellaneous flooring materials and services. Again, this is a countywide contract. We're requesting award to the primary, secondary, and the alternate listed on your communique. Move for approval. Second. We have a motion to second. Any discussion? Please vote. Motion passes unanimously. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Commissioner Fickers. Yes, sir. We got a couple of interlopers here. Let me get down to them. Okay, we have approval interlocal with the city of Northridge on Hills. Uh, Q1, A, B, C, A, and B. O, o one. I'm sorry. O one. Oh, one A B, and then we have another in a local with the city of Colleyville, which is C and D. And I move approval of both of them. Second. We have a motion to second. Any discussion? Please vote. Motion passes unanimously. 
Are there any appointments today? There being none, then you have before you the bond and certificates of self-insurance. Your Honor, we've received the bond on Mr. Michael Grover in an amount of $100,000. This is for the bond for the public probate administrator. administrator. We're requesting that you approve this bond. Move for approval. Second. We have a motion to second. Any discussion? Please vote. Motion passes unanimously. Court members, you have before you the claims, including the addendum. Move approval of the claims, including the addendum. Second. We have a motion to second to approve the claims, including the addendum. Uh, any discussion? Please vote. Motion passes unanimously. There being no further business to conduct at this time, we are adjourned. Thirty-six minutes. Yeah, that was a little long.